Okay, so back to Christmas, you guys. We've gone from fall to Halloween to now back to Christmas. And we are going to um, be almost finished with our journal. So here we are. I'll show you what page we are on. We don't have very many left. We are on this page. We're going to do this little truck and this cute doorway. So we're going to make this, put our snowy trees in, <clears throat> make our little wreaths, and then we're going to assemble it in our journal. And then next time, we're going to do this, this one. And if we have time, if we, I think we have time, we'll do this one too, or I will record this final one and just put it on, um, we'll just put it uh, on Facebook or on YouTube. So you'll be able to see that. So if, either way, this will be the final tutorial in two weeks, and that will be on the 28th. And, you know, hopefully on the 28th or at the end of September, we'll be able to release all of those new uh, images and um, get ready for the Harvest Journal, which will be starting. The first tutorial will be October 12th. So put that on your calendar. Okay, let's get going here. Um, <clears throat> here is what I'm using. These sets, so the door and stocking set, the doorway right here, we're gonna be using that. And then uh, the little truck set. So I saw your, uh, your I saw Kendra's tutorial on this little truck. If you haven't caught that tutorial, it's it's in her uh, Back to Basics. I think it's it wasn't this week, but it was the week before. And she made this little truck and it was so cute. It was so cute. The colors and everything that she used was so cute. I don't know what it is about this chubby little truck, but it's these little guys are some of my favorites now. And I can't wait to do more uh, florals with them because they're just, they're, they're just, chubby cute little trucks and they're just so fun to do so we'll be doing that one the christmas one this one right here with the little tree in the back and then uh in addition our christmas tree now you can use this one you can use this one or this one you can make your own christmas tree and then we're going to be adding the snow to it and then in the mini mini floral set this little um this little um, branch here, it's actually, it could be leaves or blooms, but we're gonna use it as leaves in our, in our wreath. And then uh, these, this little, um, it's actually a, an ivy branch, but we're gonna use it as, um, we're gonna use it as ivy, <laughs> as holly, not ivy holly. We're gonna use it as a holly branch. So we're gonna be using that. I don't know about you guys, but my recall lately, trying to find words and forget names. I can't, um, I can't re remember names for anything. So uh, bear with me, you guys, as I stumble around trying to find words. Okay, so here we go. I've got my palette ready. And I'm going to zoom in um, a little bit. Let's see if I can move this forward a little bit here. And make sure I'm on the screen. Let's just move down a little bit. Okay, here we go. So let's start out with the door and then uh, let's stamp both of these and then we'll go back to them both and put the snow in at the very end. And I put a little, <laughs> this is actually just a little pencil line because I don't wanna forget the wreath on here and I don't wanna forget the wreath on here either. So, and I have done that in the past. So I put a little pencil line to remind me to do the wreath in this doorway. So that is what it's for. Okay, I've got my water ready. I'm going to now dip my brush in water and get ready to pull the color out of the lines. Now, I went ahead and stamped these for time's sake, and I used the two colors that we always use, the 565 and the 969. So 565 first, color the whole thing with your marker. Go right over the top of it with the 969. Just go right over the top, stamp it off at least twice. Stamp it off twice because this is very light. We've got a lot of snow on here. We've got very light colors, so we don't need a lot of dark on this doorway. So now I'm going to take my brush and dip it in water, and now I'm gonna pull the color out of the lines. And I'm going to start with this on the side because the door is attached to a structure. And so we want to sort of bring this out, and we do that by pulling the color from the other side. Now, if we wanted to drop this down, we'd pull the color on this side. So same over here. So on this side, we're dropping it down. You see how that's raising this bar right here? It's raising this little molding. And we want this to kind of stand out. And this is all just kind of standing out. This is coming out from the step. 
and this is coming out from the door. And just lightly, this too, this is coming forward, this little molding is coming forward, and so is this. And then this is a this is a contour, so we need to see that highlight in the center. And then the windows, they're set back. They're set back, so that means the color is below the line because this comes forward. And basically what we're doing is we're just kind of creating a shadow. See, this is coming forward, so we're pulling that color out from the outside. And it's starting to look three-dimensional, right? Okay, so that's changed a lot, just doing that one step. It really has. Okay, so let's go on from here, and we're going to add some color now to, actually, you know what? Let's do the wreath. Let's do the wreath because I am afraid I'm gonna forget it if I don't do it. So I'm gonna use the little bow that's on here. It comes in this set, let me just show you. Um, it comes with this little bow right here, and you can use it on the little stockings, but it's also really cute in the in the um, in the wreath. And I'm just gonna use the bow part, not this, not the little um, part on the edge. So just the rounded part of the bow. And I'm just gonna ink it in something simple, <clears throat> just a simple color uh, like this brown. Just the middle part. And if you get, you know, any of the other part in there, it's okay. It's it's totally fine. But I, I need to stamp it off so that it's not too dark. And I'm just going to put it um, just right below um, the door right here. So just in there like that. Now I have a good center for my wreath. And I can build my wreath around here. So I'm going to do that next. And I'm going to get my little stamp here. So this little foliage. And I'm just going to use my cool green. So my 249 and turn your, um, let's move this out of the way for now, turn your, uh, your canvas so that you can, you can get this in here. And I'm just going to start and work my way around. And, you know, it's okay if it goes over a little bit over the door. That's totally fine. And, you know, if you're more comfortable drawing in a pencil line, you know, a circle of some sort, by all means do that just to make sure that you've got it rounded. And then I'm just gonna add just a little bit above so it looks like that bow is um, attached to the bottom of the wreath. And if there's anywhere that you, you know, need to add, you know, a little bit more, you can. You can do that. But this little foliage, it really makes a great wreath. It really does. It's really small and it's easy to maneuver. So you can get it into a circle really easily. And now I'm just gonna add some water to it, kind of blend it all out. And there's quite a bit of color here. Um, so if it's stamped over these lines, it's okay. It's, it's totally fine. It's, gonna, it's probably gonna wash out that brown color anyway. <clears throat> so let's just, might as well finish this wreath up. Let's, let's add some red now to that bow. So I'm gonna take some of this red and I'm gonna, you know, I, I wanna try to leave a little highlight on here, but if I don't get it on here, it's okay because I'm gonna be adding my white paint and I can easily add it with the white paint. It's just always a good idea to leave a little bit of white. It's just going to look more natural if you do that. And I want this little bow to be um, a little darker. So I'm going to add another Make another pass of color here. There we go. And if you want to, you can you can add to this bow and you can do that with just, you know, a couple of little rectangles here or triangles actually. They're probably more like triangles, just like that with your pencil. And you can kind of hang that bow down and just color it in. And we've got our little bow on our door. It's starting to look Christmassy already. So cute. 
Okay, so now <clears throat> let's add some color. Let's add some color to the door. And this color that I used is, um, it's really, really light. It's really a combination of the green. So it's this green, the 249, and the blue, the dark blue. So the 565. And really, really light. So we've got a lot going on here with the snow and the wreaths. So we want to keep this door actually really light. And, you know, brush that color on. If it's too dark, pinch your brush off and then um, take away some of that color. But it's just, it's a good idea to start really, really light. And don't forget the inside of your, of your wreath. So be sure to get that. And, you know, try not to make the color, you know, too, um, too even, I guess. Because we want it to look naturally. We want the door to have a little texture. And let's get some up in here also. And we can, you know, pull a little of this green out too from the from the wreath. And it kind of creates a little shadow in here. So you can just, you know, put a little color on and then pinch your brush off, especially if you think it's too dark. Pinch your brush off and just take some of that color away. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna add some texture to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the blue here and um, add some blue to my little window panes here. Cause this part here, that's gonna be the frosty part of the window. We're gonna kind of leave that white and then we're gonna add some paint to it also. So we're only just gonna see the top part of these windows. They're, they're pretty frosty looking. And while we're into the blue, we can just add a little shadow under here, kind of underneath this wreath. And then, you know, under here, where this little bow is hanging. And then let's add some warm blue in here. So let's take a little bit of this and kind of change up this door plate here. And this is the, if I didn't tell you that color, it's the 526. Okay. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to um, I'm going to take my dark brown, my twin tone, now, and I'm going to just darken this little keyhole here and these little details, these little nails. Like so. And let's make this little door handle. Let's make this red and really Christmassy. All right, so now I'm going to turn my paper and I'm gonna put some detail in here. I'm gonna do that with my pencil and a ruler. So I've got my little ruler here and I'm just gonna go along and just put a little texture in here. And I think this really adds a lot, so don't be afraid to do this. So I need, don't need to get it right by that door plate. And you can kind of make these, you know, as narrow as you want, but just put them in pretty lightly. Did I get this one here inside the wreath? There we go. A pencil is so handy for things like that because this, because it's the, the lines are really light, so it's not, you know, super dark, and the lines are, are kind of loose. So it's not like a, a marker where you've got a really smooth, dark line. These lines are kind of broken. You can add more pressure 
to make them darker if you want to, or you can keep them pretty light. And then, you know, you can erase it um, if you want to change it out. Now this one, see this one's pretty dark here, so I'm going to just erase that and just put it in again. There we go, how cute. And actually, I should probably continue this line all the way down here. There we go. How cute is that? And nothing to it. And it adds a lot. I think that adds a lot when you put um, texture in like that. Okay, so let's add some more of this uh, light color, <clears throat> this light blue to our palette. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of this on the house because we're gonna be stamping our trees in, we're gonna be putting our vine up above here. And so we wanna see that there's some color on here. The door isn't, you know, wouldn't be freestanding out in the snow. So it's gonna, it's attached to a house or a structure. So we gotta be able to see that. And I'm just brushing this on here. I just love this blue color. I just think it adds a little warmth to the, to the um, project. And I'm just gonna put a little bit up here. We can always add more once we get the vine in too. I don't need to put too much down here because we're gonna put those trees in, those snowy trees. Um, <clears throat> so we'll be covering it up anyway. And I'm just gonna make this little light blue just cause I think that would be cute. And we might as well just finish it off and just take some yellow. So this is the 993. And I'm just going to make a little round circle. So keep the center uh, white when you're making a light like that. Keep the center white. Okay, so we are ready to um, put our trees in, it looks like. We're ready to do that. <clears throat> so I'm going to ink these up, not the stem, just the top part of the tree with the 249. And just ink this up. We don't need the stem, but you know, if you happen to get it on there and you know, you didn't mean to, you can always take it off with the white paint. So now you can, you can swing this out, make this a little wider if you want to. <clears throat> you can go, you can go up a little bit. I'll show you what I mean by that. So you can stamp it, and I've got mine kind of leaning against the door here. You can go up and make it a little bit taller. Or you can swing it out a little bit, kind of like that. We really just need the shape. Honestly, that's what we need because the snow will sort of define the tree. And you can pull these, kind of pull these branches out a little bit farther if you want to. And we're gonna kind of create a little snow bank here so it, we don't really have to worry too much about how we end the tree. And you can just, just keep pulling these branches out. If you want these trees to be bigger, just drag these branches out, make them bigger. And I'm just kind of tapping it. Just tapping it. Don't get it all you know, colored in solid. We still need to see those white areas in here. So try not to color it in, in too solid. Okay, so now let's get our little vines in. And I'm using them um, uh, both sides. Did I show you guys what I, did I show you that I, we're using this? Where is this one? Oh, I did, I did show you. So we're using it both sides, both directions. So I'm gonna start out by um, just coloring this and just kind of bringing it up around like this, maybe one more over here. And then I'll take this one and just kind of hang it down. Kind of 
gonna hang it down like this. And maybe, maybe we'll just bring one up around like this. And maybe bring one over like this. I think that works. It's kind of nice to have them going both directions because it doesn't look too uniform that way. And these things are just going to grow however. Now with these, you just want to touch the leaves. So you don't necessarily want to ink the whole thing and the vines and everything. And, you know, when you touch the leaves, you know, with this, with the water, it's going to change the shape and it's going to sort of fade them out and make it look really loose. And that's what we want. We're going to add um, some snow on here. So that will also add a lot to it. Okay. I think that looks good. Let's put our little um, our little berries in. So I'm going to take my bullet tip now, my 856, and I'm just going to put in my little berries into the wreath. I think adding these is what makes it look really festive. And you just, you know, put as many in here as you want. And then these up in here, I put some berries up in here. I made these a little bigger. So I just kind of drew little circles here with these. There we go. Don't want to overdo it. You know, you don't want to put too many in. Um, just, you know, just a few. Okay, I think that looks good. All right, what do we need to do now next on here? Um, let's add <clears throat> let's add a little path. So we're going to we're we're going to add snow into the trees like this. So I'm just using a little bit of this blue. And I'm just going to bring this out. I'm just creating a little bank here with the blue. Just like that. And then adding just a little darker color. And just a little, little more blue around these windows. Maybe a little shadow under here. And uh, under these little vines. If you put a little shadow down below, it, it looks like it's on a wall. Um, you can see that it's kind of, you know, it's casting a shadow on something. And you just, it doesn't, ha doesn't have to be perfect. Just sort of um, mirror your little vine. And, you know, that's really all you have to do. Okay, so let's go on now to the little truck. And then we'll come back and add the snow and the white paint to everything at once. Okay, so let's go on to this little guy. And I'm just going to do the wreath first because <laughs> I don't want to forget it. And I'm just going to keep this one small. So let's just start <clears throat> putting this on here. And walking around. And you know, you can make this as big as you want. You could also just create a little swag on here. That would also be really cute doesn't necessarily have to be a wreath. Okay, there we go. Done. So it's not forgotten. And then I'm just going to add a little water to it. And now we can continue on with the little truck. <clears throat> so I'm just going to start pulling the color out of the lines. Just like so, just drag this color out. And we will start seeing our little truck kind of take shape here. Okay, there it is. <coughs> so I'm gonna kind of flip my palette around here so I can get some red on here. We're gonna be using red. 
and bright red. So this is 856. Now I stamped this in the same colors that I stamped the doorway, exact same. Stamped it off twice and then stamped it onto my watercolor paper because we're using a bright color. And when you're using red and you want it to be bright red, you gotta be careful that you don't have too much color in the lines. So I'm starting out here where it's flat. This part of the little truck is gonna be flat, so I don't have to worry about a highlight here at all. And this, this side here, that's pretty flat too. And the tops of these um, fenders here and the tops of the hood and the roof, that's gonna be snow. So we don't have to worry too much about, you know, getting all of the um, highlights and everything in. You just wanna stay in your own, in each section. Stay in your own section. You wanna stay in each section, so don't cross the lines. Don't muddy up your image by crossing the lines. Keep in each section. And just, you know, start out light. Always start out light. And then you can always add more color. This is the little windshield here, so <clears throat> we don't need to add any red to that. And then I can get right up to the wreath. I don't really wanna blend the red too much with that wreath. So I don't really wanna mix it too much here. But that would be too much to stamp the green over the red. If I'd already, if I'd already brushed the red in, it, it would have been too much. You wouldn't have been able to see that green. And of course we need some red in here. Like so. And now we can come back again and get some more red in here. So we're gonna just go back, make another pass and really darken this red. You can see how bright that is now. And under here, you know, it's gonna be darker under here than it is on the top. Same here. Just do each section, just work your way around and get each section. And just, you know, kind of add that color around the wreath. You know, try not to blend it too much. You don't have to get, you know, right up. You don't have to get all the white spaces around it. Put it that way. You know, it's watercolor, so. Okay, so now let's go on here and do the hood. And the top. And then I'm gonna do one more pass, <clears throat> especially right at the bottom of these, these wheels here, these fenders, where that would be really dark. Okay, looking good. So I'm gonna switch now to um, <clears throat> to some gray. Uh, you could use gray, you could use black also. And I'm just gonna mix that with some of this dark brown. So the dark brown, the 969. And just kind of mix that together. And that's gonna be my um, the color of my little tires. And just kind of brush this in. And you could take just a little bit of that and put a little shadow on these hubcaps. And then I'm just gonna go back over it again and make it darker. Uh, 
in. I could just put a little bit on this little light here and this little fender bumper. There we go. And we want a dark, um, a dark shadow under here. That's going to be really dark under here. So it looks like those wheels are kind of tucked back. Okay, so now <clears throat> I'm going to take my bullet tip, my red, and I'm just going to go over the bottom edge and just put some of this color back in. Especially up in here. We kind of, you know, you can kind of easily lose the lines a little bit, especially with red. It's such a, um, it's such a dark color. So we can easily just put these back in. Okay, and then I'm going to take my um, my twin tone. And just kind of put this little mirror back in and a little handle. And this dark shadow under here. Okay, looking good. Um, okay, I'm going to add <clears throat> my little berries in here. Kind of put them in the areas that are the lightest. You can find some white spots, put them in there. Okay, and let's add our tree now to the back. And we're gonna use that same tree, this one. And I might just actually, I might just grab a piece of um, post-it tape and just cover that truck bed or the, um, the back of the truck and the top here. And I'm just gonna kind of put this in, you know, at an angle like this. And I could bring that top over a little bit farther. So you're just stamping it in, just like we did with the door, only sideways. <clears throat> and now we can, make sure your brush is cleaned off after you were just in all that red. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to kind of drag those branches out and make this tree however big we want it to be. Okay, and now I'm going to add just a little of this dark blue to the windows. Just a, just a few little streaks like this. Make it look like that windows are really kind of frosty. Okay, so now <clears throat> let's add a little bit more of this color to our palette and we're gonna put some of the sky in. So really get enough water on there when you're doing the sky and just kind of brush it in. Uh, try to stay away from the dark colors. So if you've got, you know, a lot of dark colors like this red, you don't want to bleed that into the blue. The green isn't, you know, as much of an issue as the brown and the red would be. And we can kind of build this up a little bit here. So we could bring this sky to about here. Kind of create a little, a little snow mound. And maybe a little shadow underneath. And you know, just push that 
just push that sky around. Don't try to don't try to, to brush it in like this, you know, with a brush stroke. Just kind of push it around. Okay, I think I think we're ready for our paint, you guys. So let's let that dry just for a second. I'm going to move my palette out of the way. <clears throat> move my water out of the way. And get both of my images in here. And I think I can fit them both onto the screen. Like so. Okay, so let's get our paint out. I'm just going to use my number four brush. And I just take the paint right from my container. If you notice your paint is getting too thick, just add a couple of drops of water and just stir it up really good. And you'll see, it should kind of have this, you know, thicker texture, but I just find it's easier just to take it out of the, out of the container. So let's start out with the trees. And we're just gonna, just gonna add Add the snow to the trees. Think about it, it's gonna kind of be sitting on top of the limbs. But you know, it's so, um, it doesn't, it really honestly doesn't matter how you put it on. It really doesn't. You're gonna get the impression that it's a snowy tree. And it's, you know, I think it adds a lot too because it's kind of thick and it, it looks like snow. And you can just kind of make a little snow bank here. And in here we can put just a little bit of snow in, in these little window panes. Little bit on top of the lamp the light and then you know a little bit on top of these vines like the snow just kind of collected up here on top of the door and maybe just kind of collect it down here too and maybe, you know, kind of collect it on this wreath too. I could just add a few little white spots on here too. I add some little frosty touches to the door. And I'm gonna switch out to my little brush now and put a little detail on this, on this ribbon. So dip it in, dip it in water, pinch it off, and then just take a little tiny bit just right on the edge. Okay. And we can put just a little highlight on this doorknob. Add a little bit here. So fun, you guys. I mean, just putting the white on there, just it just changes everything.
It really does. It's, it's kind of like it just brightens everything up and just makes it happy. Okay, so now let's go on to our little truck. And we're going to do this one now. And then we'll come back and add a little shadow to the bottom of the um, to the bottom of the snow. So I'm just going to put in the snowflakes now since I have my little brush. And I'm just dipping it in. I like uh, using the paint too because it makes the snowflakes different, all different. And I think they, they look a little more realistic. And, you know, there would be some snowflakes falling in front of the truck too. Like so. And I'm going to switch out to my bigger brush now. and get some snow onto this tree. And then on the roof, you know, we gotta have some snow on the roof. And then on the top of the hood, a little snow on there. And then on top of the top of the wheels. And you can just, you know, put as much on as you want, a little bit or a lot. I mean, it's easy to kind of get carried away too. It's just so fun to put this snow on. It is just so fun. And it's just, you know what? It's really hard to mess it up. It, it really is. I'm just going to put a little bit of snow in here too in this little wreath. And I'm going to put a highlight on my little hubcaps. Let me clean out my brush for a second here. I got a lot of paint on it. So I'm just going to put a little highlight on these hubcaps. And I think it would be kind of cute to have it kind of stuck in the snow here. So we can kind of cover these tires a little bit. Look like they're just stuck in the snow. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, let me clean off my, my brush here. And then let's add a little shadow underneath our snow and we're good to go on these pages. This, this white paint, you know, it cleans off really, really easily. There's just, um, it, the cleanup is really easy. The one thing you have to remember is to be sure to put the lid back on your paint. So that's, that's really important because it does dry out pretty quickly. Okay, let's start out with the door. And let me get my palette back. Let me get my palette back and get some blue out. So this is the, the dark blue, the 565. That's what we're gonna use. And we're just gonna take a little bit of this and just kind of brush it underneath the snow. Just a little blue line right underneath. And you can see the difference. Can you see the difference between this tree and this tree? It has just a little more depth to it by adding just a little of that dark color underneath. So 
So it's just kind of the last step. And just go right underneath all your little snowy areas and do that. Up here under this snow. And I think that looks pretty good. Sign and date on this one. Let me find my blue pen here. So be sure you sign and date all of your um, all of your your images in your journal. Be sure to do that. Every single one. It's really important that you do that. Okay, so this one I think is finished. Let's go on to this one and add our little blue. And up up here. And we are finished with this little guy. Looks pretty good. So let me set these aside. <clears throat> and I have some, another set of them that are already cut and ready to go into the journal. So here's where we left off. Uh, is this, this is the one here. So this is where we left off. Let me move all my stuff out of the way here and zoom out a little bit, whoops. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, here we go, you guys. So let's, we've got all these pages glued in. All of these are done. And we left this one, this page out. So we did this little composition last time. And we left it out so that we could do the back of it. This one right here. And then we'll glue it into the journal. So <clears throat> let me grab this. And this is the, um, this is the doorway. So this is one that I did before. And I'm just gonna start by gluing in my paper, my decorative paper. And I just cut that out with my die, just like the others. And I'm just gonna add some glue here and just glue this in. Get that centered or that will really bug me. There we go. And I cut another page for the next side. So there's two sides to the journal. So I've got this page. And um, so here's the front, here's the back, and it's going to go like this. So this is the, this is the way that it's going in there. So it'll be this side. And I'm gonna glue this one on here. And just put that in there like that. Is that straight? No, fix that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now we've got our two pages here. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue in. Let me move this out of the way here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one in, just like this. It will fit right there. And I just cut this decorative edge uh, with my die. And let me just tell you the size of this. So it is, grab my ruler here. So I cut this, um, Whoops. This way. So two and a half. This is two and a half inches by four inches. Wait. Two and a half inches by three and three quarters inches. Three and three quarters. So that's the square that you want to cut your door out with. And then you just want to line up your little decorative edge and just cut it right along the edge to put your doorway in. And then your corner, you wanna just cut your, um, your little pocket. So this is going to be a square. And it is, a, it is two and a half, 
two and a half inches square and then just lay your die over the middle and just cut it right in the middle. And I'm just gonna glue this in now, just right along the edge. And put it right in here, just like this. And I just added a few little snowflakes to it from the little snowflake die set, the little tiny ones. Let me see if I have that. Tell you what that package is, or what that number is. Or Leah, if you're on, do you know what number the little tiny snowflake dies are? Now let's put our little truck in. And I just cut this one along both edges. Let me tell you what size this is. So this is two inches. So just measure your, your, uh, your image, two inches, and cut it, uh, just a rectangle, two inches by three and a quarter. And then just cut your decorate, decorative edge, same die, decorative edge on both sides of it. And just I just glued it onto a, um, another piece of decorative paper that is three and five, looks like three and five sixteenths, but it, could, it doesn't necessarily have to be that exact size. It could be three and three quarters if that's easier um, by two. And then I just tied a little decorative ribbon onto it and it'll tuck right into the pocket just like that and of course you can add you know whatever you want to put in that little pocket doesn't you know that you could put the truck um, just on the page as well so let's glue it in here and we will have this page done so now this way it's going to glue in this direction so remember the tab is always facing to the front so it's going to glue in here just like this. And here's our little, here's the edge. Oh, actually, you know what, you guys? It's going this way. It's going this way. So that it goes into the, no. It's going this way. Gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. Wow, I just had a, so these are going in, so it's going in here like this. It's going in here like, <laughs> like this, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if we have to leave just a little bit of space here to glue it in, we're gonna leave this little space, and it is, I'll tell you how big it is. Wow, did I? Okay, here, it is a quarter of an inch. So we wanna leave a quarter of an inch when we glue this in. So just like that. So let's do it before I forget how to do it again. Okay, here we go. So put your glue down like this. And then you're going to leave a quarter of an inch just like this. And glue that in. There we go. Because we need to leave a little bit of space in here you know, that's why that that's why they glue in like this, so that we have enough space to leave things in here. Okay, so that's in now. So this one will line up directly in front of this one. So it's going to line up right here, directly in front. And then the last one will line up in front of this one. So I don't want to glue this one in yet um, until we get the other one finished. So we'll leave this one in here like this, but we've got this one done. And I think... That is, that is it for this page, you guys. And then next time we'll be doing the little, next time we'll be doing the little church and these two little critters in here. And then um, this little one, and this one's really easy. So I think we can get through all of these next time uh, when we do that last tutorial.